Hi guys, wish to show you how to create reports in Microsoft Visual Studio.net, that is VB.net as we call it here. Therefore, the first thing you should notice that um, I have these forms here and the forms here has data. Uh, for instance, if I may just as, uh, show you, this is the GUI where I have bills, I have purchases, inventory, reports, employees, etc. Therefore, I want us to create a report and therefore to create a report, you just start by creating a new form. Therefore, you create a new form. You just go to this part here and give it a name. Like for example, I want us to create customer, that is a customer's summary report that is our, our our form press order then i click on add now once i click on add i can just increase the size then go to properties in the properties dialog box just go to uh, window state and change that one to maximized and then save it the next step is to create or to insert report viewer therefore you just go to toolbox then scroll down scroll until you get this part here that is the report viewer and then you hit on report viewer and drag to draw now once you draw and uh, you right click on it then you go to properties on the properties uh, sheet here you just go to dock and choose the center therefore you see that one fills the screen then you save again now once you do that you go now to solution explorer you can either access it from here or from here then you go to the name of your project like this one is amec pharmacy system you right click then you go to add then new item now once you go to new item in this dialog box you hit data then data set here notice the name the name is data set 2 that one is very crucial then you hit on add now, once you hit on add, this dialog box appears, dataset 2.xsd. Therefore, you go to toolbox, then you go to table adapter and drag and drop it here. Therefore, once you drag and drop it there, this dialog box appears. Therefore, you choose the connection, you choose the database you want to use. Therefore, you can test. Once you test, you click on OK, then hit next, hit yes, hit yes, then next. Therefore, in this dialog box, table adapter configuration wizard, you hit on query builder. Now, once you hit on query builder, if you are conversant with Microsoft Access, this is not much difference. Therefore, I want to, to use table customer add cross. Then I choose the fields I want here by ticking on them, just the way in order you want them appear. Therefore, I want them to appear as they are here. Therefore, I want it to have a product name quantity cost and total then i can just execute query here to see whether my query is really working therefore you can see it is displaying data here if i click on ok then i click on next next then finish therefore once you hit on finish you go back to your form press order this one that is customer summary report then there is this point here if you are very keen there is this point Therefore, you click on that arrow there, then you go to this point, design a report. Now, once you click on design the report, here you choose your data set two, and your uh, customer table appears. You can see here it is TBL customer has been selected. Then you hit on next. Then here you just arrange feeds as you wish them to appear in the report, just like I am doing. You can use that drag and drop just like i am doing therefore you have quantity we have cost and then we have total then you click on next you click on next here you can choose the way you want your form to appear then finish once you click on finish this is our report here therefore you can just drag it just somewhere there in the middle then right click here go to insert then you can insert the page header therefore in the page header press order here 
I can just go to insert uh, or just go to properties. Then I just go to fill. Then I choose a color I want it there. Therefore, I want just to have a color like that in the header. Then right click. In case I want to type, I just go to insert, then text box. Therefore, in this text box of mine, I can type whatever I want. This is customer customers customers reports customers reports that way reports then i right click then i just go to uh, i just right click here i just go to text box properties so that i can have font if i can just choose uh, 28 then once i i click on 28 then i can just um, click on ok then adjust this accordingly you can also insert a picture here in case you want to insert a picture like you can just right click insert then image therefore uh, once i do that i can import an image like for example i can just go to my pictures here then I can just import that image there then i click on ok there we are therefore you can see now i have my report header with an image then on the footer side you just go again insert then page footer then right click in case you need to do some uh, editing there then you just go to uh, color there then you click on ok then you can also type your footer here as you wish then after doing that you go back to your customer summary form on the same point again then this time round you choose this here this connection report three there then now you can save, go, go to uh, your properties, then go to this point here. You change that one to uh, customer summary report as your startup form. Then you now launch and see uh, what you have. Therefore, your report should load. Good. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, you can see we have executed and created a report as uh, expected and therefore remember to subscribe remember to share my videos also remember to watch other videos on microsoft visual basic and also other topics and therefore thank you very much for watching see you in my next session